the hostel I live Ghana and party. Bank issue. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are we doing? I hope we're all doing. Let me put this here to see if it looks good. Let me put one back. <laughs> I hope we are all doing good. Welcome back to another video on this channel. If it's your first time on this channel, you're welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for always returning. Thank you for always believing in me. Thank you so much. Like, okay, let me do this a little bit. Let me introduce myself. My name is Joy and I'm the queen of my joyful zone. I'm the owner of this channel. You see more of my face here. Yes, I talk a lot about Ghana, education, career, faith, and many more. Yes, so expect a lot from me, okay? All right, so in this video, I'll be talking about challenges you're likely to face as a foreigner in Ghana. Whether you're a Nigerian or whatever, depending on where you're coming from, these are possible challenges you may face if you are intending to go and study in Ghana, work in Ghana. Yes, you should be prepared for this. I know you'll be saying, okay, is <laughs> Ghana, 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 Ghana. Oh, the good vibes, the good vibes, the good vibes. Now, why this? Yes, the challenges you are likely to face, and it's good, it's very important I let you know about these challenges, okay? there is a way around it you don't just say okay because of this you will not come to ghana i will not go in Ghana. there is no country that does not have its own challenges so please prepare your heart prepare your mind for this so the first challenge i think you are likely to face when you land into the country most common challenge is the food <laughs> if you don't know how to eat if you don't if you're not prone to change or if you don't give yourself to change see ghana food is very difficult for you it's africa and most of their food are older oh it's almost alike with nigerian food but the taste is different the method of preparation is different so that's one of the things i struggled with a lot when i landed ghana newly i was you know i was a lepacious kind of girl before not so lepa like that when i say lepa i mean slim not too on this big side when I got to Ghana, I was thinking, okay, we have Nigerian food, we have Ghanaian food, it's, it's going to be available for me. But it was not like that. I struggled for a while. I was just on kebab, 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 you know, kebab, kebab, and I discovered the Indomie and other stuff. It was really a big challenge for me. So it took me a while to discover the Nigerian, you know, where they sell Nigerian foodstuffs and all. That's why I was able to get my own type of food and cook my food to my taste before i along the way i later got you know used to eating Ghanaian food most of the wache the banku and the pepe and all those stuff yes it will take you a while before you can adjust or begin to eat the Ghanaian food okay so take note of that the second thing on my list is the language i know that ghana is a is an english speaking country but most of them speak their languages so if you don't understand the chi if you don't understand if you don't know how if you don't have someone to interpret for you it will be a bit of a challenge yes most <clears throat> Most of the market women sell <laughs> sell sell their product at the speech. You when you go and buy so you want to go and buy something in the market for in market for example and they ask oh sister welcome Uber they will ask you I'll be like what do you say? They say oh I uh, we are Nigerian are you and are you a Niger are you an ago <laughs> that's one thing they will ask you oh are you are you a newcomer are you new okay I said what do you want to buy some of them are nice enough to even interpret what they are saying to you oh my god it's really hot right now some of them are nice to even interpret what they are saying but it's actually language is it can be a challenge for you but for those who are even French speaking it may be a bigger challenge for you because it will be difficult for you to understand and interpret your own tell them what you actually mean but with time when you get to mix with people you know make friends people who are willing to help you out that's what I love about myself like I always say I love something about myself I mix with people I meet people I open myself to relationship I open my, I'm open-minded I don't just restrict myself to a particular style of thing and that's okay you know because I'm a Nigerian I don't want to mix with anybody just Nigerians alone no I didn't do that though I didn't do that I had even more Ghanaian friends than Nigerian friends okay yes and that was how I was able to learn the tree. Let me let me even say something right now. Since here they made to me a country bar. Even though I don't have any um, Ghanaian friend around, only just one woman I know who's selling somewhere. She's married to a Nigerian for so many years. Maybe I'll bring her on my channel. 
that's the only Ghanaian friend I have that I speak to. But to say I can speak to, I still watch you know Ghana Ghanaian movies. I still understand whether they transcribe it or not. Yes, I can speak the tree, and I'm confident about that. Okay. <laughs> Alright. The next challenge I feel or I think you are likely to face is the transport system. If you are coming from a country where you hop into Ubers anyhow, anyhow, you know you take Uber to this place to this place, it will be difficult for you. For a Nigerian, we were used to the. Oh, show the, oh, show the, you know, we we'll, <laughs> would we'll hop into the bus, yeah. It, that was not really, really difficult for me to mingle, but the challenge I faced more was going my way around. There are certain times I got missing. Actually, my school was located in a particular place before they were building their main campus. And there was time I entered the church, I was saying, okay, I'm going to this place. And I was just sitting in the car. They were asking me, the, the conductor, or let me call the mate, did not even say, oh, did not ask me, oh sister, he was not particular about me because there are so many people in the vehicle. So why should it just be only me? I didn't want to make it known that, oh, I'm new and, you know, I wanted to also feel like I'm among the people. I know I'm, I'm in Ghana, you understand? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so I just, you know, cooperated. I didn't know that I was already going off my school road. And in fact, it was really a confusing scenario. So knowing your way around with the trotro system may be a bit of a challenge. But uh, if you have the money to be hopping from one Uber to the other, from boat to this place to this place, you are fine. If you have the money, it's fine. Right now in Ghana, there are so many there are so many changes now with the transport system and charges. So try to <laughs> i've shared a story how i was you know how a, a taxi driver actually used my brain in ghana and it was very very painful for me i was like, asking him okay take me to so so place so place how much will you charge me he didn't tell me so i brought out the whole money i had i showed him i said this and this i said we should pick one which one did he charge me then he picked the biggest one which was 50 cities hey master if i catch that man again how will i even remember his face anyway let him go with that one <laughs> okay so the next one on my list, the major issue I had then was bank issue. I didn't know, I thought if I just land Ghana, I can just take all the money I have, convert them to CDs and just go and throw them into my Nigerian account. And I was like shocked because some of the banks we have in Nigeria here are not in Ghana. They, they are like different from my own banks. The only bank, the banks I knew in Nigeria, the only banks, the only bank I saw that was uh, actually a Nigerian bank was Echo Bank. Just recently I discovered we have GT Bank, we have um, some other banks, this Tampic Bank and some other, you know, banks that we have here, which is really really nice yes guys so maybe in a different video i will show us how to open an account how to open an account with a bank once i enjoyed using in ghana i'll do that it's separate i'll make that video separate from you know maybe whenever uh, yes in my, in my next video i may make that video for you to know the requirements and what you need to have so and for me to open a bank account in, in ghana i had to have resident permit this and that uh, eh? what would i do <laughs> but along the line i was able to you know get away with it i was able to move get my way around it and all yeah so i solved that bank issue and i've been fine i enjoyed my banking there too now i still have some money though the account is dormant i still have some money in that account hopefully whenever i visit ghana again you know we we'll and revive the account hopefully hopefully next on my list is uh, hmm, this experience i don't even know uh, should i do this video do i make this one a separate video or something the hostel i live ghana and party if you are the person who don't like to stay in a noisy environment, don't go and stay where you have uh, your hostel is very is very close to a club. That was exactly where my hostel was situated. Hey, I, I was in I stayed in, I lived in Accra. There's a place called Odoko. There's a particular hostel. Opposite there was a every night there a party, party after party. Oh my goodness, sleeping was oh. You want to sleep, you'll be hearing you be hearing the sound of the CD in your chest. It was really a big challenge for me. So if you think if you're thinking of living in a quiet environment where you can focus and you know without noise and all those, so please consider staying far away from where they have clubs and eateries that are too noisy or chop bar, like they call it. Please just try your best to stay away because my dear Ghanaian beats will enter your brain. And if you're not careful, everything you plan to be leaving your brain one after the other is not easy. So please plan yourself very well. Don't go and do pass yourself or don't go and stay in GRE because you want a very quiet place and then they come for their money you cannot pay. Yeah, so that was on that challenge I passed through because that was the best hostel I saw at that time. That was the one that I knew and that was vacant. Yeah, so 
make make your plans well prepare yourself very very well before coming make do make research you get to discover certain things the next challenge i think you are likely to face when you arrive ghana is uh um hospital you know hospital issues i'm not praying for anyone to get into ghana and begin to force it me for me hardly the highest thing I bought from the from the farm from the hospital, the pharmacy, was a uh, paracetamol and some other stuff. Not really, really sick that oh they have to admit me. Blah blah. No, I didn't have that. Even in the school, we had a clinic. If you have any issue, you go to the clinic. They treat you. They attend to you properly. I know. But if you're having any major issue that has to do with okay operation, surgery, and all that, I me mean, I don't know how to advise you on that one. It would be a bit of a challenge because you need to get some certain documentations. Number one, your resident permit and some other. That other plenty 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 stuff mm. I, in fact i can't sleep for anybody once you go to ghana if you have a four-year course to finish you finish without any kind of sickness in jesus name amen another thing is accommodation so there's this thing about ghanaians they're very particular about who lives in their house so <laughs> there's this thing of also attached to nigerians that i know that if i give this person my house all of a sudden, the person will turn into a flat. Basically, these are the things I think that people, foreigners, actually struggle with when they arrive in Ghana. But um, in no time, just give yourself a matter of three to six months of your arrival. If you're very quick to change, if you adapt to change easily, just give yourself that short period and you'll be just fine, okay? My advice to anyone watching this video, please, if you intend to go and have anything to do with Ghana, be open-minded, be law-abiding, be law abiding please be law abiding okay and yes you'll be just fine and you will enjoy your stay in ghana just catch the best fun and make sure to do the thing that brought you to ghana do it well thank you so much for watching so if you've watched this far please and you enjoyed watching this video please give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button share the video to as many who needs to know and don't forget to subscribe so i'll see you in my next one bye guys